Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about UUOC or useless use of cat, or I like the nicer version, which is unnecessary use of cat. Uh, and we're going to talk about why cat is usually not needed when you're working in shell scripts. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. I still think that sometimes cat is useful for thinking about problems, just to be clear up front. It is still useful to think about problems with cat, uh, but most of the time you don't actually need it when you're working with things. Uh, first, let's start with some files that have contents. Uh, we're just gonna, I don't know, foo to f1 and bar to f2. Sure, silly examples, but whatever. Cat, the point of cat is to show the contents of a file or concatenate them. That's where the cat part comes from. Uh, and so this is kind of what cat is designed for. Take multiple files and show all of their contents. However, a lot of the times it's useful to just show the contents of one file. And let's say that we actually put some more contents in there. So let's, um, I don't know, foo food, hello world. And one thing that I see happen pretty often is the utilization of cat to start a pipeline, you know, print out the results of something and then pipe that to something else that you're gonna do other things with. So let's say we grab foo, for instance. Uh, and this is, you know, perfectly fine and very natural to think about if you're writing this out on a command line. However, in a script, you've wasted a bit of time here. Uh, the time wasted is that it's not, it's not completely free to start a process. So starting this process in order to start this pipeline, to start this process, to feed the output of this into the input of this is a little bit of wasted work. For modern computers, it's not that much wasted work, so it's not a huge deal. But often you can take things that look like this and refactor them to use the file directly, either uh, for commands that take in files, such as grep, uh, or for commands that don't take in files but read standard input. You can you know, pipe the file directly into the file. Now this is a little bit backwards from how you might think about the problem and why this is a little bit more natural to think about. Where, because you know this is at the end of the command versus I'm starting with the file, I wanna filter it through something and I wanna do something else, for example. Uh, but anyway, that's what unnecessary use or useless use of cat is, and it's something to look out for in code reviews because it can save you a little bit of CPU cycles. Now, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.